Okay, y'all, while we await the real deal Bronco to show up, the real Bronco, we have the baby Broncos here behind us, the Bronco Sport. Now, not trying to downplay them at all, but of course they're not like the true Bronco we're about to see, the full body size. The Bronco Sport, however, is uh, kind of like on an escape platform. It's been a great vehicle for us so far. It will surprise you as far as the capability of it. So I don't know if anyone's had experience or what their thoughts are. I guess we get some initial thoughts of, oh, I'm not so sure about it, what's wrong with it? I, it's not what I thought it would be. Well, you probably have seen uh, images of the real Bronco. So that's probably why you may be feeling a little bit let down about the Bronco Sport. But Bronco Sport is made for a totally different segment or just one that has a little less uh, high demand needs from a, a size standpoint. So still very capable in, in all standard 4x4. And here behind us, we have two of our Overland Covert editions. So I wanna go over today, uh, both of these packages and more, let's go. So the already famous Aikens Mountain, I usually am filming on the other side, but today I am going to try to climb this phenomenal peak here, high atop Aikens Mountain at Aikens Ford in Winder, Georgia, y'all. Got to keep it funny, you know, we, we try to have fun with what we do, and we truly love what we do, but uh, a pretty cool, I mean, just, just before we get started, I mean, here's the entrance. When I first started here, this was a in and out, and uh, our owner, Brad's phenomenal guy all the way around, but had the vision to put a very fitting, uh, perfect gift to me and us, a, a beautiful wall, Rock Mountain, Aikens Mountain, as I call it to display all of our beautiful custom vehicles right here at Wild Willie. So let's get right to it, y'all. We have a 2021 Oxford White uh, Big Ben Bronco Sport. This is our Overland Covered Edition. I like how this one turned out. We did, uh, obviously, we did a wheel and tire, uh, a wheel swap. We did the Toyo Open Country AT3 in 235, 65, 17. We don't have a level kit yet. I'll have some soon. So we're just doing about a half an inch wider and a half an inch taller on the tire size. Now taking this from the street tire, like we have on the one next to us, just a continental uh, street tire, uh, just doing that alone is an upgrade. From a look standpoint and capability wise, it being uh, four wheel drive standard is huge in what it gives you some added confidence while off-roading. Plus it rides great on the road still, uh, just a great overall addition. Now up top, you see we did Yakima crossbars. Uh, they're all lockable, they all have keys that come with them. So we did the Yakima crossbars and we've got a uh, Yakima awning that comes out. So while you're on a weekend adventure, you can have a nice awning with some sunshade, push you a couple chairs out to enjoy uh, in between whatever you're doing. We got a Yakima cradle kayak rack. This actually can hold two kayaks. We've got one on here for display and then a Yakima uh, mini roof baskets. This roof basket's a nice addition uh, to com combine with other accessories. So if it's just there standalone, you would probably need to do another one on the other side or have some other accessories like we have on this setup to uh, balance everything out. Now here's just a good look. Pause, pause here if you want to check out the window sticker in our Yakima uh, package over here, the Cobra Overland. You got the kayak carrier, the side awning, tent, uh, the mini basket we got molly storage bags on the inside the, the roof rack crossbars and your tires we are selling the kayak if you want it uh 35 422 before discount so i love this package we've done several uh overland covert so far and this is definitely my favorite because it's very functional much like the next one we're about to discuss as well and you pretty much can look, go do all you want to in a weekend uh, right from this vehicle so the doing things uh, on the top vertically gives you more capability and more room on the inside to enjoy your weekend. So really do like this particular one. Now you may have seen this one uh, fully out in the showroom. This is another one, Alto Blue, uh, Overland Covert. So as I mentioned, we did not do tires on this one, but that would be a, a first thing I would do if I was actually purchasing this one. We have a Yakima uh, dual bike rack out back. Actually got a bike too that will be sold separately uh, if wanted and uh, that just is a clean way to uh, transport your bikes for your weekend adventures then we did yakima crossbars up top as well and there's the awning again just for you know if it's hot y'all we want things that are functional things that make sense so the awning is a great addition if you're hanging out relaxing in between bike rides or just uh outdoor adventuring or enjoying the nice weather 
on a weekend getaway, you've got uh, nice ample ways to, to stay comfortable. Now the, the big apparatus device on here is the Yakima Skyrise tent. That we, here's a picture, uh, we'll show you some pictures of it out and about. It sleeps two people and that's a great addition. Obviously, uh, it's kind of caught my eye about going camping and doing various things to where you can utilize uh, you know, having everything right in one package. Uh, Aikens Mountain about caught me right there, y'all. But uh, here again, window sticker for the Alto Blue, Big Ben. Pause that to see the info. Coveland Overt, um, Overland Edition, the tent with ladder, side awning, got the bike rack. Oh, we got an AR ARB uh, air compressor on the inside, more Molly rear bag storage behind the front seat. And your crossbars, bike sold separately, 35, 954 before discount. So yes, we've got a ARB air compressor on the inside. That way, if you're needing some more air for your tire while off-roading, or you need to blow up an air mattress or pump up your bike tire, you've got uh, onboard air that's very gives you more confidence that you're not gonna have any issues while you take precious time out of your busy schedule to go do some uh, adventure seeking. So we've got two for you today, y'all. Hope you've enjoyed this quick video and we've got more to come. So I want to go next with level kits, bigger tire sizes, uh, maybe some more custom paint like we've done in the past. So gotta stay tuned for more. Let me know in the comments what you would like to see us do on our next Bronco Sport. And just know that when the real Bronco, the big bad one shows up, we've got some special things already in store for that. So it has some packages that we're ready to release right now. So I, I want to tell you, but I can't. But just know that um, we, we've got big plans and still have the big vision here at Aikens. Phenomenal dealership, anything auto, top 10, top eight for dealership nationally, an accessory store that is, is the best kept secret, y'all, for, for how big we are and uh, uh, what all we've got going on. You're just starting to learn about us, and we've got so much more to share. So stay tuned for more. I'm Neil Shepard. Thanks for watching.